Hello everybody, today we're going to take a look at the real watts of an 18 watt magnetically ballasted low pressure sodium fixture. Now of course low pressure sodium can come in many different types of fixtures. Here we just have a small wall pack but it can also come in uh, larger wall packs and even street light type versions. But that doesn't really matter. We're here to look at the type of gear that are that is inside of a fixture like this. So as previously stated, this is an 18 watt low pressure sodium magnetically ballasted fixture. And uh, that's pretty much it. It's nice and simple and fantastic. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at the uh, voltage that we're currently getting here. And We'll set it to amps here so we can see how much it pulls right when we plug it in. Here we go. So there's the current amps that we are pulling. Watts. Our volt amps. Our current hertz. And our power factor. So, let's go ahead and let this fixture warm up. Okay, so the fixture is now at full brightness. So let's go ahead and take a look at what it is currently taking. So there's our current volts that we are getting. Here's how many amps the fixture is taking. Watts, volt amps, hertz, and the power factor. Anyway, again here, we have an 18 watt bulb, but because it is higher, it is taking 35 watts, we have some ballast loss, which is quite common. So anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this quick look at a real watts of an 18 watt low pressure sodium magnetically ballasted fixture. Also, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and thank you very much for watching.